morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Dominic. And I'm Kyson. And this is the Wildcat, Wildcat Weekly. Here's to another episode for us Jameson students to see what's going on around campus with this week's news. That's right, so let's get started. It's beginning to take to look a lot like Christmas, the holiday season is here, which means winter break is also around the corner. Though we ha only have eight days left of school until our three weeks of winter break, which starts of the, on the 21st, there are tons of things happening around campus. It's a season of giving, and this year students have the opportunity to give back to the community. Like, for example, the President on Patrol, if you haven't noticed, the office has a box where students can give a toy to a kid in need this holiday season. If you are trying to be off the naughty list, be kind and donate a toy in either your fourth period class or at the front office. Wonder which fourth period class would give the most. Bow, and another way that students could give back to help needy families, Jameson High School is putting together a couple of food baskets for families in need over the holidays. Students can help the school and these families out by bringing in canned food at the moment. Uh, the school staff is assembling two baskets but could help use help as there are more than two families in need. Moving on, it's getting really chilly, rainy, and cold outside. Let's see what that means for us with this week's weather with our amazing weather woman, Makayla. Thanks guys, and I'm Makayla back with this week's weather. This week's weather will look like Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high of 56. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a high of 57. Thursday, partly cloudy with a high of 59. And Friday, partly cloudy with a high of 61. Well, there won't be much rain, but there won't be sun either, so be sure to stay warm or wear your sweaters. So I have you guys this week. I'm Makayla, back to you guys. Thanks, Makayla, for this great information. Next, with winter break around the corner, this means school is halfway done. But are you done with everything you need to do for graduation? As another reminder, seniors, make sure you are getting stuff done, not only in class, but outside of class as well. Remember to work on your E2020, not just at school, but at home too. Jameson does offer after-school E2020 workshops on Monday and Wednesday. Same goes for community service hours. With holidays and winter break, there is more opportunity and time for you to knock out more community service hours to be able to graduate. For example, Animal Haven is looking for more help. If you don't know how many hours you have, check with Mrs. Wells in the front office. And talking about community service, the last Culinary Monday for 2019 is December 17th. After that, the program will start back when we return to school in January 2019. Next, we wanted to give a follow-up on how both leadership and drama did at the annual holiday performance for local senior citizens. Let's go with our reporter to see how that went. Hello, students of Jameson High. I'm Rene Carmona, and, this, and I'm here with... Miss Stone. And Ms. Stone, how did the Christmas performance go? I thought today was very well. Um, the students had fun. They did a great job in singing, and I thought the play was outstanding. So I think overall it was very, very good. What did you guys do for the seniors? For the seniors, we had three songs. One was a sing along, uh, Frosty the Snowman. And then they also opened up with Feliz Navidad, and then uh, closed with We Wish You Merry Christmas. So, Ms. Stone, do you think this was better than last year's performance? I think this was much better than last year's performance. The play, the skit, was very, very well done. Um, the students were really getting into it, the senior citizens were enjoying it, and the uh, rest of the audience, because there were some others besides seniors. So, and I think the songs um, were done much better than last year, and the most favorite part of mine was that kids were having fun. Okay. Well, personally, I had a good time. They had a really good food, and it was really nice what we could do for the senior citizens. Well, that'll be back to you guys. Thank you. That looks like fun holiday cheers. Thank you, leadership and drama, for all their work that they put into this holiday event. Soccer season is coming to a close. They have done well in their record of four wins and one loss. So how did they do with their last final game of the year against EEFJ? Let's go with our new rooms reporter, Dominic, to find out. I'm Dominic here with Angel and Renee, and we're here to talk about soccer this year. So, what was your guys' score on the uh, last game? Our score for the last game was 7-2 against Hanford. It was a really good team, but at the end of the day, we came out with the win. That's pretty good. What was your guys' uh, record for the season? Uh, our record for this season was 5-1. and one. Um, Our only loss this year was against Porterville, which is a really, really good team. Uh, unfortunately, that day we weren't able to win, but that's all right. We at least came out with a good record this year. Sounds like you guys had a good season. Are you guys confident about the tournament? Yeah, I feel like we could really take it this year. Take the dub. All right. And what have you guys improved on this entire Come on, season? Get up. Something we improved on this season was um, our communication and passing. Because in the beginning of the year, we didn't have that much chemistry with each other. But, you know, a lot through the years, you start getting to know people and know how they work. And so I think we really combined it together really good. No, it's OK. Get pressure. There you go, Angel. 
sounds like it was a good season this year. Um, the next game is on Tuesday in Porterville, and we'll tell you how that game goes. I'm Dominic, this is Angel, and this is Renee. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, myself. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, just a few things left before we're done. Seniors, there's an opportunity for a college scholarship for the agriculture field. If you're interested in it, contact Ms. James for the application. Finally, do you love the video JMO's production makes? Well, not all of our videos make it to the Wildcat Weekly. So if you're looking for more, go to our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. We officially have over 130 videos that we have made, so enjoy and watch them. So that's it. I'm Kyson. And I'm Dominic. This was the Wildcat Weekly. We hope you enjoyed the show.